as we dive into control. Mm. Spooky, spooky stuff. Uh, cool, right. We always got to go to options first. I'm just going to turn the main volume down a little bit. And can I have subtitles? Yes. There we go. Okie dokie. So brightness at 50 bar. Make it so the icon on the left is not visible. I always put it up slightly further than it actually is. So, bop, bop, bop. Let's see what this is all about. I've heard this is trippy as hell, so... Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Yep. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. Okay. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. That other man's not even looking at the... Nice. Uh... A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. Oh, what is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption. The room's a cell. And the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen, freak out. And try to forget what they saw. Okay. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Well, that started off immediately very weird. Hello? Anyone here? I can move around. Can I leave? Nope. <laughs> Look behind the desk, have a peek. Nothing. That is a hefty flag. Hello. I've already found something
prohibited items. Number two, pencils. Anything smart. Smart gaming devices, smartphones, smartwatches, laptops, pages, unauthorized weapons. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Jesus. All materials under Brio Innovation is to, to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisors immediately. That's so weird already. Okay. Internal lockdown and effect, building lockdown and effect. Okay. Nothing over here. It's weird that the door just opened by itself, but. Uh, Bruro expenditures. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Now I'm probably going to look at absolutely everything that I can in this game, so... A cost breakdown sheet. For mold removal. Interesting. I'm sure we're going to see more of those. Hello, buddy. You're a very pixely individual. You just loaded in. You're the janitor. Our bureau at work. Head of research. Run. Director. What's this way? Toilette. Nothing in the toilet. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Can I get in there? What's crouch? There is no crouch. Ah, oh, they are all windows. That's why I can't just walk in there. Interesting. Like a break room? Anything of interest on the tables? Yes, there is. Security orders. A shark in his... Someone has found a shark, maybe, in the thing? Shoot to kill. Okay. A freaking shark. I can hear music. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them with a number of people. If you have, need an extension, please request form of R, R4E. Interesting. Hey, excuse me. Here we go. Weird stuff. What are you about the job? Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. Janitor, by the way. Ati. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they, they, you're no 
helmet. There'll be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound when you call out. Okay. We've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But He's... that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Do you just hear what I was saying as well? What the? Okay. Well, I already don't know where we are. This is pretty weird. <laughs> huh. Crazy. So already it's kind of gone back on itself. Up we go. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Well, this is already weird as hell. Very cool little intro sequence. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Everything's gone a little bit doolally there. Should I just be peeking around for things? I guess I should just peek around just in case I see anything interesting. Pneumatic tubes. I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Tet trench. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not good. I love the fourth wall stuff. intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, 
The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Huh. This place. Where am I? Okay. I didn't jump far enough, apparently. Fire my service weapon with R2. Ah, well that's good to know. the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what a living I'm gun happy I'm happy to be here right things have quieted down outside is it safe to go man this place is huge Okay. 
Okay. Interesting, I can't go back that way, so I guess I've got to go back the way that I came. Shots count. Those employees just hanging in the air. Jesus. Okay, well, that looks like the way to go. Let's go and explore down here for now. What's that do? Cool, whatever that was. <laughs> loads of weird stuff in the game. Dinner reservation. simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. <laughs> if there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. That's now me there as an image of the director. So that has changed that. I'm going to come back to these, I think. That's the way I came.
Man, there are already, already so many little bits and pieces to find. And there's all these fragments and stuff on the ground. sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Lots of cool stuff to pick up. Radio. Okay, down to the spooky room. Do I jump off? Guess so. Things hurt you pretty bad. Either. Superpowers. Holy shit! You did it! We did it! Can you? Are you with us? With the bureau? Are you still sane? Agents. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Shit. <laughs> You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. <laughs> like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps <laughs> appearing to me, saying things. 
It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. Man, the graphics but in this are good. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. <laughs> we can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Cleanse a hiss of his corrupted agent. Ripping it out rips them apart. Interesting. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan. Fine, I'll go and talk to you. Where did she go? She's up there. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, <laughs> 17 years ago. I live in Ordinary. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct <laughs> line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Interesting. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. 
He's a gone they a bit weird. Director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. There's the hotline. Freaky stuff. But I know the hotline should be in the communications department. Ooh, I can ask some questions. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. This would so be really, really, really good. I never would have found the front door. Okay. This is really good setting for like a role play. This trench guy. <laughs> I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. <laughs> Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. His behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. 
Sounds about right to me. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. I most assuredly will. Hello, box. Okay, so I need to go out the back, basically. But I could do something over here, so. I'm going to go have a look in here. Ah, no, I can't. There's a jukebox in there, which I assume is another piece of this kind of technology. Interesting. So we need to go up and that away. Let's try it out and see what we can find, I guess. More boxes for things that I don't know particularly how to use yet. But I assume they're all going to be very important. Oh no, it's down there. Ah. There it is again. Our welcome message. Down there? Can't tell. That looks like a way to go, doesn't it? Let's see what happens if I go down here. It's overpowering here. Okay, do not go that way. With you on that. Okay, so don't go down into the deep, dark, red hallway. Okay, do not go in there either. So 
that way. And the control point. So let's just check in here because there are these two doors down here. So let's go and have a look. to sit down and go through off stream probably. Let's go and have a look in here, shall we? Man, the combat in this is freaking nail biting. And I'm only I'm only in like the first little bit. on the control point. Let's go for it. Man, already crazy stuff. Let's have a poke around, shall we? So that's the communications department, so let's go and have a look in this room. Anything changed down here? Ah. This is open now. Okay. Fucking hell. Into the city and did it 
sure wish someone would find her. I'll help you look, Telfer. We'll find your mama together. <laughs> Cool, well that was freaky as hell. Jesus. Barely see that in the darkness. Another door down here as well. Dead president. Well, I'm intrigued by that. Oh, I can have these new things. Reload speed. I guess I'll put one of those in. Cool. Personal mods. Health boost. Energy recovery. Let's get a health boost. Whatever that means. There is some crazy stuff in here that you're going to have to go through. <laughs> I do have more health there. Cool. Right, let's carry on. Another television? Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. <laughs> okay, they can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Cool. So can't go through there. Let's move on to the communications department. Communications. Right? We're on the right track. A lot of blood on the floor. Always got to check the toilets. I think I want to go this way, don't I? Yeah. Ooh, if I run through that, do I leave bloody footprints? Oh, that would have been cool. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, well that doesn't look good. I wonder what all those bits do. Okay. An object of power. Looks like the piss have latched onto it. We need the credits. going up here? I guess I do. to hear you when I'm here. It's like that channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. <laughs> Very badly hurt, though, I would like to point out, game. Okay? That telekinesis is freaking badass. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss.
hello. Portions of life. Ah. More of something. Or nothing. A damage boost. Cool. This was the way that was blocked off before. Yeah. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. This was just a room to go into and explore stuff. When do I get to fly? Going through here, then. So that's the mail room, which I can't get to at the moment. This must open the door. Cool. And this is a control point. I wonder if I claimed the control point that I was at earlier. Nothing in here. It's behind door, door number two. Nope. It's a sealed up door, and then that leads somewhere. Cool. Okay, well, let's push through here then, shall we? Okay, well you're weird. They can fly now. Great. Bloody hell. Okay. Well, that was deadly.
Jesus. Okay. I am not too. Let's try that. Okay. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. Thank you. 
Whoa. I have a feeling he'll be back. Man! Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Let's have a peek, see what we can find here. I think I want to be going the other way though, yeah. Also quite a bit of slowdown in the game which is interesting, but uh Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. Hello. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Mm. Most personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all to that and you show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> hotline chamber. The hotline can't be far now. and talk to the board, I guess. There's a camera watching me. Can't shoot it. I've already got a butte stuff like that. Thing. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The Light Switch Court. 
Light switch. The law of three applies. Well. That'll teach me to just wandering through there, I guess. So. <laughs> Pull it three times. God's sake. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream interesting Three applies. Let's try it again. I tried the handle twice, so maybe I'll try the handle again. Okay. Onwards we go. The key has a black pyramid on it. Well, there is a room with a black pyramid down the other way. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> Hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Oh my god.
can't just shoot those. Okay. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. Okay. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Interesting. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Back to Emily we go then. People react strongly. When I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I can go that way. Cool. Back at the office? <laughs> And there's no body now. Interesting. Is it that way? Yeah, it's that way. Yeah. Clearance level four. Is this grown? I can't tell. Let's interact with here and get a... Uh... Do we have outfits? No, of course I don't. That healed all my health up anyway, so... Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. 
Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. <laughs> All that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. There's always a maintenance sector. Comes the version of a sewer <laughs> level. Ability point. Control point. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Hi, Jesse. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Someone singing. Singing? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are you communicating? Coordinating? What about the. 10% health, 10% energy, 10% melee damage, 10% to launch damage. I think launch damage sounds good. I just get one of each to begin with. Additional weapon form slot. Cool. Plant attracted them. The power. Interesting. They're all common, so what's the difference between... these different things. Plan is largely confidential. No use get these look to be 
interesting things to do alongside, I guess. I guess the hiss is motives if we don't even know what kind of energy. What do you mean? It has to be a Interesting, cool, okay. Lots of interesting weird things. Fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? It's the boardroom, so I don't want to go there. You saw Trench was shot dead. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling Don't be stupid. Not that way. Okay. Was the elevator up above? Or was it over here? Sector elevator. Oh, okay, right. Time to work. Meet me in the main denalus. Okay. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Why do I feel like the janitor is going to end up being the bad guy or something in the end? It's all very interesting so far though. Down into the main sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to yep. the office. Yep, big game and I'm already Is Ati finding it too? incredibly weird. I don't think I have level 2 access yet, so let's give it a go. I can just go through the. Can I just go through the window? No. Yeah, um, I've seen some of the upgrades that they've done for the um, PS5, and it looks pretty insane. Yeah, I had a boss fight earlier. And um, it was all like stuttering, which was kind of weird. The directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? It was a little bit too um, crazy. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, another reason to get a uh, PlayStation 5 at some point. <laughs> I'm enjoying it though. The I I I tried to get sitting there and um, uh, I I tried sitting there and reading all of the documents and stuff that I had immediately, uh, and then realised it was just far too much reading. So I'm going to do that when I'm not streaming the game. <laughs> yeah, it's very a uh, Twilight Zone. David Lynchian, uh, it's very cool. Oh, hello. Bad dudes, bad dudes, what you gonna do? Yeah, normally I don't even really go in for that kind of thing, but um, I think it's just so intriguing. You in there? Ah, you down there. Oh. <laughs> Blasted into many, many tiny pieces. Uh, I think one of the strongest things about it so far, anyway, from what I've seen, is just how amazing the combat is. Um, like, you genuinely feel like an utter badass. <laughs> And I've not even really, obviously, unlocked much at the moment. Can't go through there. What's down that way? Do I want to go that way? I mean, that looks like the way I should go. I'm going to go check the Jan's office. Oh, maybe I wasn't meant to go this way just yet. Okay. Hello, Mr. Janice. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. <laughs> it does look a little bit like Gary Oldman. <laughs> Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look. We need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Aha, aha, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not yesterday's Krause's son. 
That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Nämä on kyllä sanon perkele suoraan, että this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant. How is he not affected by the hiss? And the pencil inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later. Then you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. All sounds the perfectly the legitimate. Leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Okay, I think. Burn it into a reindeer. I'm gonna check what's this way. Looks totally fine with the big red light in here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> yeah, all the videos have shown me floating around, so... Uh... That's a bright light! Man, and you could just wander off and do something entirely different, and you could carry on and not even get the evade, which is kind of cool. <laughs> oh.
burn the trash around the furnace. Okay. I need to find a point so that I can spend my ability upgrade thing. Um, I'm sure there'll be one in here. Hello again, Artie. That goes to the power plant there. This is another entrance. Ah, just another door. Cool. Is that the hiss in here? I managed to blow loads of things up that I wasn't meant to. Jesus. It's trippy when you run through the stuff. That's really weird. Um, I don't think I need to come back here. But uh, that was an interesting exchange. So I can just probably go through here. Yeah, just go through here. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power explosion. Too much. Okay. Yeah, I probably would struggle without it if I couldn't just dash around everywhere <laughs> and avoiding all the um, rockets and stuff. Okay. You are a good guy. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Don't accidentally kill these people by throwing things at them. efficiency. Nah, I don't need that. Ma'am, if you're here to help, you should speak with Chief Arish. He's yeah, 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 yeah. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Hello. HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jessica. It really does seem to have nailed like the style and the look of everything. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just. Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but. Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. 
NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Interesting. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I think I'm sure he Salvador is probably dead. I'll keep an eye out. Or a hiss. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Percentage. Internal pressure is climbing so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still hope. When it blows, we're all going with it. Oh, thanks, Frank. Real positive. Ooh, good, yes, a point. Three ability points. More health. Oh wow, it costs... Jesus Christ. Okay, that's expensive. But more health is always good. Astral Constructs. Construct shatter. Cool. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> I do like how that spins. That's cool. Well, well, well. Ba, 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 ba. Coolant pumps and energy converters. So let's go do. Well, coolant pumps are one this way, so let's go and do that first. There we go, coolant pumps. Jesus, things blow up. Okay, those things explode. Well, it's good to know that those things are terrifyingly dangerous. Uh, and that means I can upgrade the weapon mod on this. So. Fires more projectiles. Ammo refund. 
damage. Large more projectiles. Let's do that. What have I got at the moment? Do they change the amount of health that boost? Are they all the same? They're all. Oh no. Some pickups. That's just base health. Okay. Let's do health on pickups. Let's do that. Cool. Right. Through the scary door. As we go through the scary door. Replace the parts. more of you down here. That could have gone badly. Coolant pipes are that way. The furnace chamber. So the furnace chamber is where he wanted me to go afterwards. Actually, let's do the furnace chamber first. By crash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Any more hazardous materials? Yes, there's some there.
Jedi cleaning. One more, maybe? My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Power Kinesiology. I believe I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Mm. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince her. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe it. Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Um, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Okay. One more thing to throw into the furnace. But where be it? I did a good thing for Artie. That's the main thing. Do that launch. Personal mod slot. This is interesting. We need to fix this thing ASAP.
Jesus. Oh. Janitorial work here, I guess. Oh, this place is going to come down. Good. Uh, I guess the other one is up there, I suppose. So up, 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 stairs we go. Something here. A 
the moor. No. It's okay. Follow me down. I can do stuff in here. Cool, okay. Lead me through to the other side, maybe? Crikey. Blockages in pipe C through F. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. I can ask you about what all these things. About the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. 
Well, they used the same tactics that Marshal and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. Mm-hmm. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. I think it's director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You mod it or something? It's new. Is new. I a did mod it. Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. My favorite coffee break, buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Fair enough. I should be going. Right. You got a lock down to lift. Oh, do some saving. Do 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 I don't know why I'm singing that song. More mods.
cleanse this. new mission that I picked up. In the field training obstacle course. There's one down here, of course. Turns into one at the top level, I guess. Ah, it's opened up these gates. It's pretty cool. have done in here perhaps? I don't really think so. I'm 
happens if I select the other mission? How much miles away that is? Okay. Well, that's what you get for being an idiot. God damn it. <laughs> It meant that I was able to go and kick some more ass again, so that's not too bad, really. Control room. Let's cleanse this shit. That. This is what we came here to do. Let's lift the lock down. This place is bloody massive. 
That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Interesting. Can I tell Ahi what I Ahi what I did? No, it's gonna. Book club report. Something I can't get through there then. Okay, back at the service elevator. Uh, well, I want to go back to the executive sector, I imagine. Let's go talk to Emily then. A lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen here. Spin with a generous magazine and hurry to fire best used in control burst. I can make that. Let's do that. Mods. Can't make anything now because I've spent a bunch of stuff. But we don't have the proper. Facilities. Maybe we can bring in observation the containment sector. I'll hmm. bring the request to oh. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Have a spin, I can, I, which is the generation one, but we don't need that. Just changes the reload speed, basically, most of these, isn't it? damage re 
reload speed. No, I like the one I've got. On that. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Let's go Emily. for it. <laughs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. Interesting. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. He's somewhere in here, I'd imagine. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. <laughs> She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. My name's Polaris, then. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Cool stuff. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. That's not threatening at all. Has asked us to document the hiss incantation, as she calls it. You mean like 
I've got four to spend now, so I could buy plus twenty to energy, plus twenty to melee damage, launch damage, which costs two. Launch rockets back at enemies. More health. Doesn't really work out, does it, I guess? Um, I guess more energy would probably be a good idea, actually. In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. I think it's down on the maintenance level. Let's see if I can find it down there, maybe. Interesting.
I want to be going in here? Nope. I do not want to be going in there. the window. Nothing really of value in here though apparently. So let's try back into the main room. Where I can't go through to the field training place that I wanted to go to. What happens if I do this? Nope. I think bad happens in the toilets. <laughs> really remember this at all. Oh, it's because I went down to the access shaft, I think, maybe. So if I go this way, back at the power plant. I really want to go to the field training thing. How does one get there? lower level God, that's a lot of slow down. Control versions. Shotgun, maybe it's close. Just die. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is the actual mission of those. Oh, 
Come on. Oh. Shouldn't have got so close. brutal now this is where I got the training manual thing which is nowhere here These are locked now, which isn't helpful. Probably not the best thing I could have done in that circumstance, but uh, we'll forget that I did that. So I sorted out the control room. Which then allows me to take the sector elevator. It's back this way. But I could go back to the janitor's office and see if I can find another way through, I suppose, maybe. important. Maybe I'm just not meant to get to that place yet because it's all blocked off, I guess. Yeah, I don't have the clearance level for that. Really taking the thing that allows me to throw the grenades back.
Where's Ati's room? It was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the way to the... Okay. Hello, Ati. Not the way to go. Okay. Go back to the power plant, I guess. Hmm. Maybe if I just go back to the... I'm just going to teleport back to the boardroom, I think. Look alive. Direct him on deck. Everything's safe here. Can you get to the training room from here? No, you can't. Okay, right, so no way to get to there from here. It's just weird. But um, I guess we'll turn it back to... Central Executive. That's where I want to go. So far, I have got plenty of things that I need to do when I'm not playing this. I need to read a lot of um, files, basically. <laughs> Try and get my head around a little bit more of the story for this one. Right, so I want the service elevator. I want to go to research and parapsychology. More loading screens. So, let's see what happens here. Man, it's so cool when that happens. for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. 
Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance and, and do follow the safety protocols. <laughs> Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. You seem like a nice man, darling. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Come and say hello. in the face. Ooh, information. There's something else down here. I know it. Ooh, fuck, that scared the shit out of me. <sighs> Jesus. They'll teach me if you're not paying attention. <laughs> Sit down. Hiss snipers, okay. Ah, that's what the beam was that came up as I was uh... Something behind here. Ah, hello. More gubbins. Another weapon mod. Why does it look like something should go there? Is it this way? Could be this way. I feel like there should be a control point to take the command off. Okay, well this doesn't look healthy. Can I go in here?
Oh yeah, this is safe. Maybe this is the way. They're using something to try and keep it back with sound or something, aren't they, I think? Is there a ways around here? There is. Oh, hello. Nothing bad ever happened in a bathroom. I'm going to say it again. I hate toilets. It's all very nice looking. There was stuff in the loo. Cafeteria. Why not put on a bit of music? I want to go to parapsychology, so I need to find the science of parapsychology. Parapsychology is upstairs. Okay. It's downstairs, apparently. People floating on chairs. Yes. <sighs> okay, right, that's better. That says parapsychology is this way. So this is parapsychology. But not as the case may be. Struggling again.
Whew. I'm guessing I have to go down this way then. And have a peek around here. Because I think it's going to take me up and underneath parapsychology there. Nope, that didn't work. Let's have a sneaky butchers then. Some bobs. I don't really still know where I need to go. What does it say in the old mission? Find Marshall. Well, I can't get into parapsychology, so I'm just going to go upstairs and try and find the office. So, although everything tended to lead me downwards, but. Oh, this is the office of the video. Huh. I've been feeling questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? Ah, you can send them by the protector. That's cool. And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing HRA. <laughs> Think of them as a... Uh, life as a, preserver. Uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat and if you don't have an HRA don't worry it'll be uh, quick and painless interesting <laughs> I'm kidding nothing really here that I can that points me towards what I need to do but This doesn't seem like the right way to go either. Although that bridge is there. This seems a little bit crazy. It's got to be simpler than this. So this is where I came in. The ritual division is closed off. But 
parapsychology is downstairs. Well, that was easy. And now I know how I could have got to the trials! Ah, oh, for God's sake. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Those things explode in satisfying man. Particles? These all look very spooky. Hello. You're a strange individual. Astral exhibition, then. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Wow. Weird stuff. I hate plants! Cool. Right. I think I am going to... Let me just check astral constructs. What have I got? A weapon forms. I haven't got enough to build one of those. Why? Tell me I could do something there. How much is it to throw grenades? Two to throw grenades. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, I'm going to end it for now. And uh, I'll be back to play this at some point soon. So.
Cool. Enjoying it so far? <laughs>